will I benefit from doing this? What am I doing? Even the man I'm even helping at home has nothing to do. She has no knowledge. We are, we are, we are, we are life carriers. We are loaded with grace. That's why God says that he will find a wife. He will find a good thing. But Jesus is talking about the faithful, committed, committed dedicated, heavenly conscious liberals working for the kingdom. They are few. Then after three years, I begin to have a lodging in my heart that there is a higher calling. The impact was on the church for a long time. So I Alpha, and we will end with you as Omega. Never back in Jesus' name. He said, Help of coming, you will satisfy our soul. God will satisfy their soul in the name of Jesus. The Lord will sustain you. We are so proud of you. We are happy for you. We are just so happy. We are happy for you. We are proud of you. We are going back home with another news. Anywhere in the hotel, in the park. Yeah, we can even have a uh, time. You mean I should get over it and pretend that simple thing happened? Been to the hospital? What did the doctor say? Very sorry. Uh, we are fine here by the grace of God. Another church? You mean my church is dead? This is she here on the line. How are you? Ha! Demotion letter. That Samuel. Um, Sister Peace, they are yet to pay their pastor suffering for this month. It's really baffled the way you twisted the Bible verses when we gave the last time to justify the sin of immorality. Faithful members, they lost their job. Really? Yes, it's as if a veil has been lifted up my eyes. Yeah. Am I dreaming? Come to think of it, what has happened to her? Our church calendar is full to the end of the year. Start to pray to God for a Bible believing church around us. Not even a space for 10 minute drama. But the MP3 you gave me, I was listening to it all through my flight to the Republic of Ireland when I was going for my conference. But I'm condemning your action. Yes, it is a must. After you have dined and wine without for a long time. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. I will come back. It. You will come back and break from her. I reject it, sir. Jesus. I will not pass her. Sir, I reject it, Jesus. You will come back. <laughs> Oftentimes we wonder that if God has spoken and ordained something, why should there be an opposition? 
These oppositions can be so discouraging. Waiting time is determined by God. Duration of the wait is set by Him, the all-knowing God. Circumstances and situations may change, but not His words. He exalts His words more than His name. There is a set time, a day, an hour, minutes and seconds for the fulfillment of every word. If it is God, it will surely come to pass. Brother Elijah, how are you doing today? I'm fine, sir. How was the service today? I bless God, sir. It's unfortunate that uh, the King Titus and Sister Mary is not here with us. Uh, after we have met severally on this issue uh, with the marriage committee, we have come to a logical conclusion. Unanimously decided that on this issue that the wedding cannot be held in the church. I came to inform you that our wedding invitation is out. Oh, at last! Congratulations! Yes. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Come, let me offer you water to drink. Let me do that time. Alright? Oh, okay. I'll, okay. okay. I'll deliver your message to him. Okay, okay. Bye. Please take care of yourself. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Say bye. Bye bye. I've also dropped in some few places, including Mr. Jurala's house. But sincerely, bro Elijah, I feel summer about this whole arrangement. We don't have a choice other than to do it this way. Or do we have another plan? When is brother Elijah and sister Mary getting married? I don't know. I won't even open the card. Okay. Ah, oh. are you determined to? I did not get married in the church. I'm surprised. That's not what we discussed the last time we met. I have to see him. Why the sudden change of the plan? Elijah? Sister Mary? It's funny, you know. Oh, 
Mary. Joy. Joy. You're back. Yes, I came back since, but but I forgot to change my clothes, so I just slept off. Mm. So. I saw the invitation you kept on my bed. Yes. Mary, quite the sudden change of plans. From church to registry. <sighs> Joy, it's a long story. <laughs> Mary, please, let it out. Okay, let's go and talk about it. Alright, let's go. Hello dear. Hello dear. I'm just getting home now. Yeah. I just want to inform you that I will be a little bit late today because of the appointment with Brother Elijah. Please don't forget to pick up the children from the school at 5 p.m. I won't forget. Please send me word to Brother Elijah. Okay, I will. Okay, bye. Elijah, hello dad, it has been a long time I hear from you, good morning dad, sorry, I forgot that today is Saturday, I was just about getting out goods for that my friend's daughter's wedding, at Ubumu shop, okay what is it that I'm hearing again, your mom was telling me some issues yesterday night when we were about going to bed, that you want to get married to a Nibu girl, down there in Spain. So in the whole Spain, there's no Yoruba girl over there. She your mom now let her No, I'm not in support of that. Too. But I've prayed about her and I'm convinced that she's the will of God for my life. At this is my age. From west to east, I can't travel that. But but that besides that, the Igbos, they are very, very expensive. You should know that. Convinced that she's the will of God for my life. Again and again, I'm not in support of it. But that, that, that. What is the problem in marrying from another tribe? Hello, Valaja, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Okay, you're welcome. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, let me just go to the, uh, straight to the point. Okay. I actually brought you outside here because I don't want the children to distract us. You understand? Uh, I learned that your parents are still standing. They are still adamant, unyielding, unbending. I'm tired of everything. They get tired about it. You understand? Because sometimes these are some these are the, the, the tests of your faith. So you need to know that. You need to listen to them. You understand? You need to have you have to wait for them to give you the consent. Yes, sir, but I've been praying and God has already confirmed it. Mm. And it's almost, I mean, it's several months now, still on it. Yeah, there's no problem with that. If God has confirmed it, because if it is the Lord, there's need for you to understand that there's a need for you to be patient. The Bible also says that we should give honor to our parents so that our days might be long. Is that the stand of the church? Yeah, it is the standard of the church and also the standard of the word of God. You see, Abraham, when he sent out his servant you know, to get a wife for his son Isaac, you know that when he got there after meeting with, uh, with Rebecca, what happened? 
the parent has to give the consent. The parent has to give his consent. Understand? So even in the word of God, you can't go above it. So that means the church cannot join us together. Yeah, as 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 I have to tell you the truth, because we can't go beyond the word of God. So if it is God, it must surely come into perfection. You need to wait patiently. So is that the reason for the sudden change in plan? Since the pastor has told them the state of the church in the case like this, I the brother Elijah thought the best thing to do is just to go to register civil. Without parental consent? Hmm. Dear, remember we've been through that part before? Yes, I remember perfectly. But it was a part that contradicted the word of God. It wasn't an easy experience. Dear, we must invite Brother Elijah, if possible, both of them. Remember, we didn't know much then. Even the little we knew, we ignored. But Brother Elijah and uh, Sister Mary, they know better than we do then. I wonder why they choose to walk in the path of disobedience. Dear, that is why God made them to know, so that they can, they can learn from our experience. Yes, the pastor tried to make them to understand. They cannot understand now. Nah, we need to prayerfully talk to them. They are blinded by so many things. We need to invite both of them over, or one of them. I will. Where are the children? They are upstairs sleeping. Meanwhile, we need to pray for wisdom to know how to talk to them. Okay, dear. Me. No, 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 you know my flat, uh, my flat mate, she's, uh, she's a born again Christian. She will not buy such an idea in this house doing the party. She's not, I don't want to see any problem with her. You know, she's just born again Christian. She don't like music, dancing, drinking. I mean, it's not go area, babe. No, we, that's, my house is out of it, I beg. Okay, okay, fine. I have an idea. Why don't we do it in your house? You host me in your house. Babe, now, please, I didn't beg you, please. You know all those, the rocking, you know, the swagger, you know. Babe, please, now, the skin, you know, those levels. I mean, all those stuff now, you know, they feel me now, babe. All right, okay, okay. Come in and make yourself comfortable. All right, man. Hey, hey, hey. How are you? Press. Uh, you want to play with me? Yeah. Okay, okay man. Soon be around. Okay, man. Children, I think it's time for us to go to bed. Let's pack it. It's bed time. Can we put all the toys in the box? Press, press. No, press. No, no. We'll put no, it's time to sleep, eh? Carry this one. Come on, let's go. Take care, eh? Press. Good night. Good night. Elijah, I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. No problem. We work a little bit late today. I'm sorry. Hope my wife has taken care of you. Yes, she took proper care of me as usual. Oh, I trust her. I trust her. Thank you for taking care of You're Elijah. Welcome, dear. Oh, you are welcome. I and my wife have something to share with you. 
It's a pity that Sister Mary is not around, is not in the town at the moment. But before I go on, how is the situation back home now? Well, the situation is still the same. On yielding, on bending. I want you to know that I and my wife we have you in mind. And Sister Mary. And that is why we have called you here today. Apart from fellowshipping in the same uh, church and being a worker in the same church, you are still from the same local government and the same state back home in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So whatsoever we are telling you now is born out of love. And for the fact that we don't want you to repeat the same mistake we made some years back, facing the same situation that you and Sister Mary is facing now. The Bible tells us in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, 2 and 3, that we should honor our parents so that we can live long. I know you know the Bible very well. I don't want their refusal to make you to go against the Lord of God. You have to, you have to be patient and see that the both family are in agreement. Brother Elijah, yes. the Bible is the whole counsel of God towards us. Please, do not go against your parents' stand. But what do you mean to say? I believe our pastor has counseled you is getting, getting married to Sister Mary without parental support. We just want to add that we do, it's not advisable that you go into the registry and get married without the support of the both family. And also, all the deals and all the things that are supposed to be done has to be done. We are living together as man and woman. We just have to do this. Please, my brother, do not put the cat before the horse. We made the mistake years ago. Though I was from a Christian home, but I wasn't born again. And that was how everything went. But Ajirana spoke with me, and then even the wife contributed, and they shared their own experience with me. Really? They spoke extensively about the way they met. I met my husband when I came to Europe to study over 12 years ago. I was also a nominal Christian and we inform our parents about our relationship. We both travel home to inform them, but my father-in-law kicked against our relationship based on travel issues. Really? You just imagine. So, we started living together as a couple. Since the law of the land permit us to, to live together without getting married. We forgot that the word of God cannot be broken. Though initially, my conscience and the little word of God that I have, we are pricking my heart. Sister Mary, even his wife, even, shared her own experience also. Every, that everybody is doing it does not make it right. No matter how trending sinful at all, sin is sin. And the Bible clearly states that God hates sin. We believe that living together Raising, having children, we make our parents to change their mind. But that was not to happen for more than seven years. Passionate about God, encouraging us not to go ahead with all the things we want to do. But when they shared their testimony, Sister Mary, it was an amazing testimony. Really, really amazing. But that was not to happen for more than seven years. We began to struggle with our job as well. Along the line, we started attending programs for those trusting God for children. We gave our life to Christ and we started seeing ourselves for who we really are, fornicators. Hmm. We were living contrary to the word of God and also going against my father's wish. We repented and both traveled home to make things right. Less than a year after, we were blessed with a baby girl. Glory. And after some time, we were blessed with another baby boy. Praise. When we walk contrary to the word of God, we are engaging our life and progress. Please, my brother, 
don't go against the word of God. You know the scripture more than I can explain or more than we do. All we need to do is to join our hands together and pray and things will change. You are convinced about Sister Mary and she too she's also convinced about you. So if we agree together and pray, God will do something. So my brother, don't do the wrong thing. Be patient. You know the scripture more than we do. In the book of John chapter 10 verse 1, Jesus lay more emphasis on this. If whoever does not come through the door, is a thief. So, bro, my brother, do the right thing and go through the right door so that you can have the blessing of God and the blessing of the family. Prayer works and I know you know. Yes, I do. I really wish I was there. Sister Mary, I was speechless. No, my head is just, it's so full. I'm confused. I don't even know what to do again. Okay. Um, Sister Mary, how, how about your ongoing conference in Sevilla? Yes, um, my conference is going on very well. Um, I'm with Sister Precious in Sevilla here. You know, that, uh, that my friend I told you about, I'm going to be staying with her. Okay. We should be rounding up shortly, yes. God bless you. We will talk later. Hello, Sister Mary. Yeah, hello, Pro Elijah. I'm just dialing your number now. Yes, I've been trying to call you back too. I'm just thinking maybe we should. Be patient and put it in prayer. We can even come together to pray about it. Even to create time for fasting and prayer. He's ever true. It may take time, wait for the Lord. It may be long, it will end to pass. It may take time, wait for the Lord. It may be long, he'll bring it to pass. He's not a man. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Uh, no problem. Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. It's beautiful. Where is your uh, flatmate? Oh, Joy. She has gone out with her friends, you know, as usual. So, but I'm still praying for the salvation of her soul. Mm -hmm. She will know what we know too. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Another thing. Uh -huh. I want to ask. I've been expecting Brother Elijah to come and see our pastor. Whether you can pick a date for your wedding. Well, he has gone to meet the pastor. In oh, fact, we have yeah. even met the marriage committee. Oh, yeah. But then uh, the issue is that uh, the marriage committee and the pastor, they expect us to bring a proof oh, yeah. that we have done our traditional marriage at home yes. and then our parental consent. Yeah. Yeah. But the problem there is that uh, Bro Elijah's father 
thinks uh, you shouldn't marry a lady from Hebo land. Mm -hmm. My mom too think, why should I go to a, to your land, you know, to get married? Mm -hmm. So they have refused to give their consent. But we are in the kingdom of God together. Uh -huh. There's neither Jew nor Greek. They don't understand that because they are not born again. Oh yeah. But not to worry, Sha. And Bra Elijah, we have decided on an alternative. Another alternative? Yes. God is not a man that lies. God is not a man that repents. God is not a man that lies. He's ever true. God is not a man that lies. God is not a man that repents. God is not a man that lies. He's Glad to you're welcome. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting at the airport. Okay. I have to finish with work and then this is break time now, so I have to quickly come. It's no problem. How was your flight uh, from Sweden here? It's okay. Thank God. See, uh, this is the apartment I told you about. I'm sharing it with a, uh, with a young lady and Joy. Where is she now? She's at work. Okay. She'll be back. Uh, I think she should even be on her way here now because it's break time now. Uh, yes. Oh, she's hi. there. Hi, I'm Joy. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm fine. Oh, good afternoon. Yes, enjoy. Um, this is uh, uh, Auntie Felicia. Uh, I told you about how uh, you're coming from. Uh, Sweden, yes. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Yes, I should okay. be coming from today. Exactly. Welcome, ma'am. Yes. How was the journey? Yeah. This is my flatmate, eh, Joy? Uh, I can see her picture here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you, ma'am. Oh, yes, yeah. ma'am. I see you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So auntie, make yourself comfortable, feel at home. Okay. Let me go and arrange them. Oh, Guinea! So, now you remember what you find. You don't see any Igbo boy for that to your church where you they go. Abiko, 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 please. Just find another boy. Anytime when you get Igbo boy, you call me. It doesn't matter whether it's from uh, Yoruba or Hausa or, you know, from Chinese or from Dutch or Spanish. And the most important thing is that God is leading into me and I am convinced also. Eh, hey, for your church, they know people man not there. People man not there. If he not there, he not there your church for Spain. He did Nigeria. Mommy, there were other brothers who came to us from my hand in Mary. But God did not tell me that they are his way for my life. So that's why I didn't say yes to them. No, 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 you'll be my first daughter. You will marry from Igbo land. Please say, no, me be cool. If you're not there, me I get to for Enugu. If you never did, you can go up here. If you're not there, I will go all the Igbo land when I know. So for me, you marry Igbo man. I know you want the best for me, but at the same time, you should also consider me. I know great at all, and I want to change my mind though. The only thing I'm waiting for is your consent, eh? Please, mommy, consider. Mary, think I'm well. Now you go marry, you go marry. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. Okay, now. Nah. Eh, you, you're a bad mom, but you know what? Mm -hmm. You know what? Okay, now, nah, eh. My, eh. Me, I did go out now. Auntie Felicia, that's my story. My parents are not yielding. The church is not ready to yield. And I fear his parents as well. I don't know what to do. Well, my sister, I have heard your story. I will ask you to wait upon the Lord. Pray concerning this issue. Um, I know you, I have written that age, as a rich child of God. So why should you want to get into marriage now without your uh, parents' blessing and consent? Why? Remember to understand that we are the salt and the light of the world. So what example are you showing others? If you go into marriage now without your parents' blessing, if you, somebody call you tomorrow for advice, as a sister, as a genuine Christian, a child of God, and as I know you, tell me what I'm going to tell the person. Remember, God never leads. He steps in the right time. You being a child of God does not mean you don't have opposition. Problems, persecutions, trials will come. 
my fear suggested that we we'll go to the registry and get married and then later we we'll settle the traditional marriage and the rest of it. Although at first I was not so convinced about it, but look at me now. I'm not getting younger. Mm -hmm. I too is not getting younger. No. There's no calendar in heaven. If God give you a husband at the age of 50 years, God will bless you with children at that age. God never late. So I'm advising you to go to upon the net. I mean, typical example. God wanted us to move to Sunday. It wasn't easy. You know, for three years we are passing our wilderness, you know. It was like we are, we are, we are, we are in wilderness. In spite of the word that the Lord spoke to you, and you went to Sweden, you still met with opposition. Yes. Waited upon the Lord, we hear from God, and He directed us where to go. So, my sister, you being a Christian does not mean you don't have a position. Persecution, trials, and difficulties. God allowed these things to happen for a purpose, to test our faith. Hmm. Today, I'm enjoying my marriage, and I have a good job, international job, same in Spain. Sorry for one place to another. So, God allowed things to happen. He's preparing a better place for us. So, my sister, don't be in a hurry. Take your time and pray. Don't disobey your parents. Remember what the Bible said? Obey your parents for your days to be what? Long. To be long. Because at a point, I was beginning to think, am I in the right relationship? Why are my parents kicking against it? Why is everything kicking against it? But the only thing I have was the word of God. So listening to you now that you are uh, you pass through something like that, really, my sister, I'm encouraging you. Slow down and pray. If it is the will of God, for me and this brother to get married, God Almighty must pay for Himself. He must reveal it to you. Don't follow this European lifestyle. We are women moving to husband's house. Give you bang born children here and there. Some tell us, hey, we, 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 we marry you, and hey, we did this one. Some of them have been here for 15 years, they don't even know where they married them, they don't even know where their husband come from. But they have children. God forbid something happens tomorrow, they don't know where to go. And remember, if you marry this small child, husband, my parents can't say something happens tomorrow, where would you go? Is it because you're in Europe? You want to be like Europeans? Some of them will tell you, we are in Europe, you know. No, my sister, you're a Christian. Do you remember the Paul, Peter of olden days in the Bible? All believers saw their lives and said, These people, they are Christians. And I took, they said, They are Christians because of their behavior. Let their character, your behavior, be example. Okay? Right. Thank you, know, you so much. I, I have taken you as my own biological sister. The way I will advise my dad, my younger sister, you know, Chinye, is that what I'm giving you now. I love you so much, my dad. I cannot give you wrong, wrong uh, uh, direction or wrong advice. Hey, thank okay? You. Thank you, auntie. Yeah. Finish your snacks now. It's okay, it's okay. Now I've taken a lot. Okay. For more So, I think I need to go and rest. I think we'll continue. Later in the day. Okay. I mean, later in the night, say, ah, the day is almost off. Okay. So I think we'll talk later. Mm? Okay, thank you, Auntie. So, bless you. Thank you. I will come and join you, Fisher. Samiri. Yes, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, miracle is on the way. Amen. Yes, sir. It's working. Amen. Okay? Amen. God bless. Amen. So, thank see you later. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ask God to touch their heart, to soften their heart. Let's be open our mouth and begin to talk to God. In the name of Jesus, our Father and our Savior, soften the heart. Sister Mary's mother, soften their heart. In the name of Jesus, soften their heart. From this time, there will be positive change. Let's begin to open our mouth and begin to talk to God. In the name of Jesus, they shall agree. In the name of Jesus. Have you been able to persuade daddy? Mommy, for how long? We have been on this issue for the past six months. Please, mommy. You know, I've explained to both of you that Sister Mary is the will of God for my life. And I'm sure about it. 
please, mommy, help me persuade daddy. Please keep on praying for us. Okay, ma. Bye. Hello, Sister Mary. story of a woman in Luke chapter 18 hmm. from verse 1. Hmm. This woman was a widow. Hmm. She needed the help of a king and this king, the Bible recorded that this king is a king that did not fear God. Hmm. And because this woman did not say because she did not fear God, she did not stop, she continued. Ah, that's Luke chapter 18. Yes, from verse 1. Yeah. And this woman did not stop. Hmm. And the Bible, Jesus now said that that's why men ought to Pray and not faint. Hmm. So it means that there's power in prayer. We continue to we know we have been praying, but you continue to pray until God does something about this case. Amen. So God will help us. Amen. Because I believe that you see our faith. Yes, yeah. I believe. Yeah. I believe. God will help us. Because now you know it's been more than six months now since we yeah. spoke to our parents about our intention to get married here. The bro Elijah received a call from his mom yesterday and he called me there after, you know was so down and so discouraged mm, yeah. because uh, the parents are still on bending, on yielding, you know. Mm. Like that. The parents are still had a man. Mm. They are saying, you know, we can't marry an evil girl. Like that. But I believe God. I encourage him. God will do it. I believe God. Since we have chosen to do the will of God. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure that Brian Elijah is the will of God for my yeah, life. Thank God for so that. I believe if it is God. It will definitely stand. It doesn't yes. matter. Yes. You know? Yeah. How long it I believe too that God will touch their hearts. You know, I remember another story from what you just said now that about their hearts that I talked about Abraham. He needed a wife for his son Isaac. And then he sent his servant. Before the servant before the servant left, he prayed to God that God should make his journey easy. And as he prayed, God settled everything without him being there. Hmm. Before he got there, God has already prepared that place for him. It means that hmm. God can go and search the hearts of the parents and the, your parents in Nigeria. In Nigeria. Yeah. I believe that by prayer, God will do something. Okay. Let us pray. Okay. So you want to cover your head? Yes. Okay. Firstly, I want us to appreciate God. Father, Father, who made you to know that this is His will? It's not just man idea. God, Father, open your you, eyes. Lord. For we're making me to understand your Father in heaven, we that this is your will God for my heaven, life, oh God. You made two of them to you know that this is your will. That bro, there is no confusion. Is for my we are very sure that it's your will Blessed for two of them to become name. husband and wife. Thank you, Father, we say thank you. We give you praise. Thank you, we appreciate you, oh God. We are very thank great, you, grateful Jesus. for revelation, thank oh God. Blessed be to your holy name. We give you praise, oh God. We give you glory, oh God. We now exalt your Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. In Proverbs chapter 20, chapter 15, verse 22. I would say that without counsel, purposes are disappointed. Yes. But in the multitude of counsel, there is safety. Yes. They are going to pray that the people yes. around them, yes, that Lord. God will begin to give them good counsel. Amen. If there is anyone around Amen. that is giving them counsel that is not in favor Amen. of this cause, that God will remove it from their, for, remove them from their environment. Yes, in the mighty name of the Lord, Jesus. Father, we pray, O Lord. Let me begin to share things that will glorify you. Things that will favor us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Be magnified, O Lord, you are highly exalted, and there is nothing you can do, O Lord, O Lord, our eyes are on you, Father. 
Think of it, why is there so much opposition in this whole thing? But I, you know, I seek your face before I started a relationship with Father Elijah. And Lord, you confirm it to me that he's my husband. Now, when we decide to move the relationship to a new, another status by getting married, our parents are kicking against it. Lord, no, we are no longer kids. We are not kids, but we just want to do your will. What with all this going on, Lord? I don't know what to do again. Lord, please. Touch the hearts of our family members. Elijah. Hello, Brian Elijah. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, not so much. I'm in my room. Yeah, I'm just uh, meditating, listening to a message, and reading my Bible, just talking with God. Yes, it was it was an ethic day. And you, what about you? Well, it's still the same thing, you know. I spoke with my sister yesterday and she said the mom has not changed her mind yet. I don't know why there is so much opposition now that we want to move our relationship forward. <laughs> oh. We keep praying, nothing much. We don't have any choice now that we have decided not to go uh, not to go ahead you know without our parents consent according to the word of the lord we have done the right thing so we have to wait the bible says we should wait until our joy is full okay no problem it is why keep trusting god okay Okay, are you home too? Oh, it is well. Oh. All right, okay. Thanks for calling. Let's keep praying. Take care of yourself. God bless you. Bye. <sighs> The last time I was in Serbia for a conference. Ah, Sister Mary. Sister Precious. How was your conference? It was okay. You and blessed God. I'm fine. Mm. How are you enjoying Serbia? Well, it's warm here. It's unlike uh, Zaragoza. It's not so cold. Exactly. Hey, there's something I actually want to discuss with you. Mm. Hey, what's that? It's our brother Elijah. Brother Elijah. Okay. You know, with all this opposition from home, there's this brother in our church, yeah. Bremeka. You will know him. He's interested in you. He has met with the pastor. Mr. Yeah. Precious. Mm -hmm. You know, I've prayed about Brother Elijah, and I'm convinced that it's the will of God for my life. 
So, I don't think I want to pray about any brother again. And you know, the relationship has been home for a long time now. If not because of the opposition that came when we wanted to get married. Even despite the opposition, sir. God has spoken about Roy Elijah, so I'm not going to consider any brother. Sister Mary, yes. it's from your tribe. So your parents will know that at least this person is from my place. You speak the same language. He's God-fearing. He's committed in the work of God. Consider and pray about faith. The Bible says, once has God spoken, twice have I heard it. The power belongs to God. When God has spoken, I don't need to pray about any brother again. And the Bible says that if this thing be of God, that it will definitely stand. So that means even if there is opposition, that does not mean that it is, the, it is not the will of God. So let's forget about Brian eh? Okay, all right. No. No. No, Lord. You spoke to me about Brian Elijah. And I can hold on to your word. The Bible says that your word is dependable. No, no, no. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you to sort out everything. Lord, I receive grace to wait. Grace to wait, eh? Hello. Ah, Mary, how are you? Eh. Okay, how about it? Eh, I just to make I call you. Since three days now, no get peace. Eh, about that, eh, uh, Yoruba, but what do you be name? Eh, eh. Eh, what do you have to say? May you tell the family. Tell the boy, make it tell the family. May they come. Who will see him? Come take list. For the uh, traditional marriage. So that's if after the time when I feel married for the one when I saw that I want to do. Uh -huh. Okay. Evil self, me go evil still comes me come for the marriage now. Okay now. Uh -huh. Okay, bye. I'm free, my, my, my. I'm free, eh? The heavy heart is gone. Now to go invite my uh, meeting people now. For the marriage, for the traditional marriage. Okay. What? Wonderful! Can we meet right now? I'm coming now, 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 now. It is God. He's ever true. Hallelujah. Wow. He's a miracle walking God. He's a miracle walking God. He's the Alpha and Omega. He's a miracle walking God. Hallelujah. If it is God, He's ever true. If it. Oh, you like that? Hello, Daddy. Now you are very, very happy. At last, I gave my consent for your marriage. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. I <laughs> spoke with your mother-in-law to be a couple of hours ago. Okay. He was even discussing with me about the, how we're going to make it beef. Because, in fact, I've been helping others to make their own beef, though I want my own too. Auntie is here, my sister with her children. Should I give the phone to her? Just give it to her, Daddy. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. You can have it. Elijah. Hello, Elijah. How are you? No, Auntie Buki. <laughs> I'm very happy, my dear. We bless God. We give God the glory. Oh, they that wait upon the Lord. Shall you need their strength? You really prove your faith. I'm very, very happy. Even I heard that you want to go ahead uh, with the uh, registry wedding over there. Without your parent consent, mm -hmm. I will have been disapp disappointed about you. But I thank God that at last everything went on the way we, want, the way we, 
we want it. What about your fiance? He's doing great. <laughs> okay, even if you are not there, by because I heard that your pastor said after your, after your traditional wedding and engagement, that people will wed over there. Though we are not there, but Nigeria will make it big. We bless God for everything. I'm very happy. I'm very proud of you. Hello, ma. I'm fine. Hope you had the good news. Congratulations. My husband told me. You see, prayer works. Yes, it works. There's nothing possible for God to do. Yes, I believe. I believe. Please, I need your help in regard to my upcoming wedding. I'm ready to help you. Okay, where can we meet? I'm at the city center now. I'm here to pick some things. Um, let's see. Let's meet at the central. Okay. And also help in the planning. Don't worry. Everything will be perfect. Hi, Sister Mary. It's fine. Busy planning too. I know you are counting days. Yes. <laughs> this is what we'll be waiting for. Okay. Okay, ma. See you soon. Bye. I'm morning. I'm body. I did fine. Say my attack all of you now. My attack you say I do well for my daughter traditional marriage. I'm gonna surprise me. Hmm. Eh, hey, help me greet the rest women no. Tennessee, all of them do well. And what thing they make me recall yourself, self? I thank you, and I know what they did the next meeting. And I won't go to Spain. I won't go to my daughter's white wedding. Do you know now? And you know. Ah, bye now, nah, bye, you see. Even a crayfish or starfish or I buy, I know, say, my daughter with that spray now, you don't need all these things. Uh, the, uh, the visa come out, and I'm not going to go to the follow me. Would they go together? Eh? Would they go? Now, nah, even the gods are they go to self. Okay, now nah, do we agree the rest with men? No. Eh? Okay, now. Nah. Bye. Hmm. Traditional wedding done mm. at home, you know, of course, in absentia. Oh, the bride price has been paid. Both parents have given their consent. Hi. You know, in just a few days now, I'll be getting married. And the white wedding? Yes, yeah. Mary, do you know that I was just looking at you when you told me you were going to change it from the church to registry mm -hmm. because your parents did not give their consent? Mm -hmm. I was thinking because I, 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 I look up to you. I was right, that you were different from those SU, those born again Christians who pretend to be born again. Mary, you of all people, you I look up to your character, your Jesus. charisma. I was like, ah, if Mary, if you do this, I mean, ha, that means Christianity is fake, mm -hmm. you know. I was just looking at you, watching you, thinking, waiting for that step that you would take. But now you really proved to me that you are different. You are really different. Actually, it is God. It's not. It was not easy, because you know our parents resisted for one year. Mm. They opposed the wedding. Mm. I didn't even know that you were looking at me or looking at my lifestyle yes. and looking at things I did. But I want to thank God for godly counsel because the Bible says that in the midst of counsel there is safety. I mean godly counsel. Mm. My fiance was counselled. I was counselled. Also, you remember 
um, the uh, the auntie that came to visit us. Ah, yes, yes, yeah, from Sweden. Yes, yeah. she counselled me, mm. and then with prayers we begin to pray and begin to trust God that our parents will change their mind. Mm. And thank God they did. You know, deep on the inside of me too, I believe so much in obedience, total obedience. Do you know that I was going to get married in the registry was not the issue. But the issue is that our parents were saying no at that time over a flimsy excuse. Mm. So if we have gone ahead to get married, that amount of disobedience to God, mm. that was what God made me to understand. Mm. That of course, of course, God has spoken that he will be my husband, I will be his wife, you know. God has ordained it. But if I had, if we have done that, we will have dishonored on our parents. And you know the Bible says in the book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 12, that we should honor our father and our mother, so that our days, you know, we belong in the land, land of the living. Maybe. So if we have done that, it will have amount to disobedience. And disobedience is a sin. And if we will have just opened the door for many things to come, all kind of things, you know, can happen to, to that person. Because if you are living in sin, then the devil can attack you so. I thank God that I waited. And to think of it, Mary. I was even thinking of moving in with my boyfriend. So start having children. I mean, what was all this parents' concerts, uncle, father, family people? He's not my tribal person. I mean, when two comes together, they become one. I was just thinking that I would just go there and start having the children. But with this your character and the way you waited patiently for all to be done systematically, you've really proven to me that mm -mm, to do things the right way is of God. Yes, mm. to do things the right way is definitely of God. Please, don't just move in and start having children. You know, as a lady, it doesn't just speak well. That amounts to fornication. When a woman and a man is living together without marriage, you know, would that be joined together, you know, before God, with all the things that need to be done to be to be done. It is fornication. It doesn't matter if they have five children, six children. It's amount of fornication. Look at Mary. She's so different. Look at me. I told her hanging up with hanging up with guys, dating them. You know, living all those lifestyles, who esteem me to get married. But Mary, look at lifestyle. She goes to church. She doesn't party. She's so good. She makes things easy for me in this house. She does things accurately. Look at her. She's getting married. And look at me. The club inside. Negative side. Smoking, drinking. Doing all sort of rubbish. Hi. If there's anybody that should get a husband, it's me. But no, all those things did not give me a husband. Instead, it's giving me a second husband to go and move and live with him. Oh, Mary is such a wonderful person. She's such a wonderful person. And she advises me very rightly. Should I give it a thought? I think there's no harm giving it a thought. I will. I will give it a thought. I will give it a chance. Go. Hi, hi. Good evening, my name is Ah, oh, you, how are you? I'm fine. Is the pastor around? Yes, he's around. God bless you. Ah. Meet your parents. Church. I'm going to speak to the reception. Yes. At the Ketras there is a hot set. Okay. Is the uh, cake set? Is it beautiful? Okay, I'm coming now. I'm coming. I'm coming. What am I doing? Okay. okay. At last, the counsel of God prevailed through perseverance and patience. God is able to do what he said he will do. Elijah and Mary got married with full parental blessing and backing. Happy married life, Elijah and Mary. God's word is dependable. He exalts it more than his name. Don't give up on his words and promises.
God is not a man that lies. God is not a man that repents. God is not a man that lies. He's ever true. God is not a man that lies. God is not a man that repents. God is not a man that lies. He's ever true. Bad.